Hi, meteorologist Tony Petraka in the Pink 12 Festival. Yes, we clicked on the weather link on this Friday afternoon about uh, 3 p.m. And in the short term, we're tracking a line of some heavy downpours and some strong thunderstorms. You can clearly see that in northeast Connecticut, far northwestern Rhode Island. So far, they've been below severe levels, so good news there. That's not to say that they're not high impact. Downpours, some lightning, some gusty wind, even the potential for some small hail, though large hail is not anticipated. This is all tracking off to the uh, east and southeast. So the highest chances, now we're taping this as of 3 o'clock, highest chances areas north and west of Providence. But uh, keep an eye to the sky. I do expect any of this activity to be winding down by early evening. I think once we get beyond, say, 7 or 8 o'clock evening, a lot of this should be gone. Notice in Providence, uh, some darker clouds mixing with hazy sun. It is uh, warm and humid. Warm, meaning temps now are well into the 70s along with the high humidity. Now you take that high humidity and pass it over the cool ocean. And the net result, look at the coastline. It is foggy uh, along the beaches and along the south shore. And that'll persist right on through the evening and overnight. So you have travel plans down along Route 1, westerly Narragansett, Charlestown, Newport, and New Bedford, the lower part of the bay. You're going over the bridge. Do expect some uh, locally uh, dense fog. Uh, you can see the reduced visibility is really confined to the immediate south shore and the islands. Notice the further north you go, visibility is not bad outside of any showers or thunderstorms, but fog's not too much of an issue the further north you go. I right, we take a look at the forecast starting off this evening, and I think any leftover showers are starting to uh, wind down and move out at that time. And then the, the game plan for the rest of the evening and overnight, you can see skies are clearing out. And this sets up for a pretty nice weekend, a real blast of summer on the way. Much warmer Saturday, hot on Sunday. Could be the season's first heat wave by Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Here we are, 7 in the morning. Now, be mindful, if you have beach plans uh, and you're going to try to find a spot very early in the morning, say 7, 8, 9 a.m., the fog may still be lingering along the coastline, but it should burn off rapidly by mid to late morning. And uh, certainly during the afternoon, uh, developing sunshine. And you can see the high temps on your Saturday afternoon are topping out mid and upper 80s inland, upper 60s to lower 70s along the coastline. And then here we are at 5 o'clock in the evening. It's still in the 80s inland and 70s along the coast. And then later Saturday evening, Saturday night, really a beautiful evening. Uh, looking at, you know, you have dining plans outdoors Saturday evening around 8 o'clock. It's still in the mid and upper 70s, warm sunshine, just delightful and 11 o'clock Saturday night looking good. We haven't had a nice summer night in a while, but Saturday night looking good. So for this evening, I think once we get beyond 8 o'clock, any showers ending, though coastal fog is still going to be an issue overnight through early morning with temperatures in the 60s. So on your Saturday morning, early morning clouds and fog along the shore, otherwise developing sunshine, rapid jump in temperature by early afternoon. It's in the mid to upper 80s. Now keep in mind those are inland temperatures near the coast. It's a it's about 10 degrees cooler. Now, let me show you the coastline in more detail Saturday afternoon and generally in the lower to mid 70s along the water's edge. You don't have to go too far inland to get temperatures well into the 80s. I think along the coastline it's more of a hazy sun cloud mixture, but overall it is a decent beach day. Certainly much better than what we've had the last couple of days. Sunshine, very warm to hot inland. We're well into the 80s in the northern part of the state. Interior Massachusetts, Attleboro, Seekonk, Taunton, mid to upper 80s. Get out towards Westport, Dartmouth, New, uh, New Bedford, upper 70s uh, to around 80. All right, the beaches this weekend, uh, both days, a Saturday and Sunday, will feature fog early in the morning. But be patient, it does burn off, and we do anticipate sunshine both days, though giving the edge to Sunday being a little warmer. 74 on Saturday, which in itself is, is very nice considering how cool it's been last couple of days at the beaches and foggy. And with not much of a sea breeze on Sunday, the temperature is all the way up to about to 80 degrees. And then in order to get an official heat wave, you need three consecutive days of 90 or higher. And that potential is there Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday of next week uh, with a real blast of above average temperatures and summer-like conditions. All right, that's your latest weather now update in the short term now through um, late afternoon and early evening. Still keep an eye to the sky for a downpour or the slight chance of a strong thunderstorm.